My name is Chris Yi, and I'm making a 3D puzzle platformer called Nectar. In the game, he plays a potted sunflower with his bumblebee companion, using globs of nectar to grow plants and manipulate the world. In this video, I'm going to talk about why it took me over a month to make a rope, specifically a tightrope. So let's go back a month ago. Why did I want to make a tightrope in the first place? I wanted a new, unique way to traverse my world, rather than just having growing platforms. So one of the ideas I came up with was a tightrope. I had seen clips from Psychonauts 2, um, and in Psychonauts 2 they have a little tightrope that you can kind of walk across, and you're like magnetically attached to it, you walk across, it bounces, and then that's how you cross gaps. And I wanted to do that, but with like a growing vine sort of thing. And in my head I thought this would be pretty simple. I thought I could just make a beam and then restrict the player's movement to the beam. And that was my initial approach to the problem. I had a collision box set up, and when you cross the collision box, your character would snap to the beam, and then the player's movement would be restricted to the plane that the beam was on. And technically this worked. This worked for a balance beam, but it's not quite a vine. It doesn't look like a vine. It's just a, uh, a rigid plank that you walk on. And it's not quite what I wanted. Um, it also just randomly teleported the player to coordinate zero, 0 every once in a while for some reason. I never completely figured out why. Uh, I'm sure I could look into it more and figure it out, but at this point, it doesn't really make any sense because I've moved on from this approach. My next approach was to use cables because Unreal has a built-in cable system, and I thought, that's perfect. I can use this for my tightropes. And I played around a lot with cables. I tried to get it to work, but the problem is the cable system built into Unreal has very poor collision. I don't know the complete inner workings of how they work, but I do know that they use particles and then they basically just apply physics to the particles and they attach each particle to simulate a cable. But because they're just particles, they don't have good collision and the player can't really walk on the cable. And that's what I needed. So I ditched that approach as well, and instead I looked to uh, not having the player walk on anything at all, but instead having an attach point that the player would attach to. And then when you move your character, that attach point is actually the thing that's moving. And this attach point would be activated by a line trace. So when the player goes into the line trace, then the player snaps to this attach point, and then you gain control of the attach point. And this approach actually worked very well. I was able to apply physics to the attach point and then add a physics constraint to the attach point so that it springs back to its position when you move it. So when the player attaches to it, it looks like it's springing like a cable. I also actually disable the player collision. So it's almost like the character isn't even there, it's just the attach point. So functionally it works, but it still doesn't have the visual component of a vine that you're walking on. You're just kind of hovering there. So for the visuals, I thought I would return back to the cables because I don't need the functionality from the cables anymore. I just need the visuals. I tried some iterations of this. It still didn't really work out because uh, just the way the cables are, it's hard for the player to interact with the cable and get like the tautness of the cable correct and have it stay under the character while you're walking. It was just not working out. And at this point I was starting to get a little discouraged because I've been trying a lot of different things and a lot of different things were failing. Surprisingly there are no tutorials online on how to make a tightrope and pretty much no one was talking about tightropes at all in Unreal forums that I could find and there were just no resources for me to go off of. But I did know it was possible because I saw it in Psychonauts 2, and I know for a fact that Psychonauts 2 was made in Unreal, so I knew there was a way to do it. So ultimately, the way I did it was I generate a spline between the start point and end point of the rope, and there are a bunch of spline points in between. And each point adjust its position based on the attach point that the character is attached to. So if the character bounces up and down with the attach point, the spline points update and it looks like the cable is bouncing. And this is what I needed. This is exactly what I was looking for. 
Now I worked a lot with the vector math. As I mentioned in one of my previous devlogs, vector math is not my strength. I had to deal with them a lot when I was making lasers, but this allowed me to get a lot more practice in with vector math, and I do think I've gotten a lot more proficient with it after lots and lots and lots and lots of mistakes, and those mistakes leading to uh, interesting little glitches, but eventually I got it working. I also had to play around a lot with getting the flowers and the vine to grow and spawn where they're supposed to and make it look like it's an actual growing vine. Uh, that took a long time. So after getting it to work, I decided to make things harder for myself, obviously. I needed this to be customizable because if I'm designing levels, I need to be able to place this tightrope wherever I need it to be. And I also wanted the player to be able to attach and detach the rope um, because I thought that added a lot of interesting puzzle potential. Um, if you see somewhere that you can go, uh, you can attach a rope there, but then you have to choose if you want to go to one place or to another place. You only have one tightrope. And I thought that was interesting, so I wanted to achieve that. So I had to set up a start and end point for my rope, and I needed the spline to adjust based on where those start and end points were. So my final setup, and what I have now, uh, I'm not sure if this is what Psychonauts does, but this is what I came up with, is whenever you attach the rope, a new spline is spawned in. It procedurally creates the spline and places all the spline points where they need to be. It spawns the mesh along the spline. It spawns all the flowers along the spline. And then when you detach the rope, um, it destroys the spline entirely. It doesn't exist anymore. And I finally came back to the use of cables, the built-in cable system in Unreal. I don't use them for anything functionally. They're just purely visual. So when the rope is detached, you see the, the cable swinging around and it looks like you're holding the rope, the vine, as it dangles. And then you can aim at another point, you can attach it to that point, and when you do that, the cable disappears. It's still there, it just it becomes invisible. And then a new spline is spawned in, and it creates a new spline mesh, new flowers. And that's how I made this rope, and I had to make it interact with the nectar, obviously, because this is a game about nectar. So when you bring the nectar close to it, it grows. When you take the nectar away, it ungrows. And you can only walk on it when it's grown. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm still going to be tweaking it a little here and there, probably. But this is, for the most part, the final version of the tightrope that took me over a month to make. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, future plants and future plant types that I put in this game don't take that long. I think this was one of the more complicated ones, hopefully. Just to give you a sneak peek, the one I'm working on right now is a lily pad to cross bodies of water. And I'm already having a much easier time creating that plant type than I was with the tightrope, so that's good news. And this rope wasn't the only thing I was working on over the month. I kind of put it on the back burner a few times, so I wasn't completely unproductive for that month. And yeah, hopefully that was a good breakdown of how my tightrope works, and hopefully you found my process interesting. If you want to help me out, I have a Steam page. You can go there and wishlist the game. That helps me a lot. If you want to be a part of my community, I have a Discord server. The link to that is in the description. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks!